What's going on guys and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video. This time we are looking at Victor Comics's HMS Gloria. It is a Spanish first rate ship of the line. An absolute beast of a ship if I might say so myself. And uh, joining us today is Sir Victor which I think is down there somewhere. <laughs> What's going on, Vic? Or Captain Victor, should I say? Uh, well, yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me again. And uh, welcome to our little video on the HMS Gloria. Finally, it took yes. us quite a while. It took us like half a year at least. It was like six months until we finally were able to coordinate and be able to make this video. Uh, so I'm so excited to be doing this because uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And uh, showing you guys, in my opinion, the best ship in Minecraft. I think I can oh, say you. that with Thank you very much. All right, so Victor, um, tell us yes. about your YouTube channel. Uh, tell us about a little bit about yourself, and we shall get started. Mm, oh yeah, um, of course. I got a little YouTube channel myself. Uh, just my username. I'm sure you'll link it in the description somewhere. Uh, those of you who know me from the server probably also know my Todd's Adventure series. There's coming a new part in February, and um, by the time this video should be online, there should actually be another real-life comedy video. So I'm starting. Um, my, at least the plan is to start all again. So yeah, yeah. but that's that. Uh, the ship, as you said, is a, spy, a Spanish. It's, it's not a real ship, but it's inspired by a real ship. It's uh, inspired by the HMS, eh, not the HMS, the, the Santissima Trinidad. was a heavy first-rate Spanish ship at the 18th, uh, 18th century and was destroyed at the Battle of Trafalgar. And um, so it is based, not it's, it's inspired by a realistic chip, and that's very important for me to keep in mind that this is the biggest chip I could possibly build without going unrealistic. This is all about accuracy and realism and nothing else, basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's absolutely incredible. I love the colors that you have, like the red and the black, the, it just the... The colors perfectly go together, in my opinion. I love that so yeah. much. And uh, it looks like you use yeah. acacia and dark oak. And uh, but yeah, how many guns does this bad boy have? Uh, it got 140 guns plus uh, six cow. more tusks. That is so much firepower for this boat. Goodness gracious! Yeah. Can you imagine being a little shrimp boat? You know, your little. You and your little pirate ship going along here, and then here comes the Gloria. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Check out think, this stun. I don't think that uh, any pirate would want to go up against this this uh, this ship. Goodness gracious. Yeah, look at that. You got the four stern cannons. I love these cannons. Thank you. Um, yeah, for more close-up details and interior, we should uh, walk through ships, I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, we'll be right back guys, and we will see you soon as we're going to walk through the actual interior. Uh, it did not translate while it pasted over here into the water, so we will see you guys soon. Okay guys, and we are back. We are at Slash Warp Ships on the Raven server. Um, you guys can come check it out for yourself, and uh, it is right here. Um, you just got to fly around a little bit. You will find it. Trust me, it's the one of the biggest ships here on this warp. But anyways, uh, Victor has quite a few facts he wants to sh tell us while we are flying around and taking in the views. So, Victor, why don't you give us a few um, fun facts about it? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this short as well because I, I really can't go too close into details. Otherwise, this will take uh, days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah, it's a heavy first-rate ship of the line, as you said. It's full rigged. It has three masts and over 40, uh, 34 plus sails. It's got a crew of around about 1,400 to 1,500 men, depending if it's in battle or not. The length of the hull is 70 meters, and its width is 25 meters. The speed is very slow. It's only 5 to 6 knots. So that's like, what, 6 point something, something newton miles per hour? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, water displacement is 5,000 tons. That's almost twice as much as the HMS Victory. And keep in mind that this is, in, in fact, uh, based on a real ship. Uh, the total air sail area is around 6,800 square yards. It can burthen uh, 3,000 tons and um, it has around 30 miles of flex and hemp rope. As I said, 140 guns including 18 to 38 pounders and 6 uh, 68 pound carronades and 6 mortars. So that's crazy and uh, that's that. Holy cow, that's a lot of... Uh... 
a lot of very interesting facts to learn, especially the water displacement. That was, or I'm sure that this thing displaces Jeez, quite a bit of water. Yeah, 5,000. Yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. These uh, sails on the end, what are these, by the way? I was I was thinking, like, uh, I was looking at them, and I wasn't quite sure oh, yeah, yeah. what the they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, the extended bits. Yeah, yeah. See that the main mast, the main sails are here, and you can see that they pushed out the extended sails. It's a little wooden boom or stick that they uh, can pull in and out, and it's an extra sail. So if they want to go full speed, basically, they attach this, and then they attach the little extra sails on the side that go down to the oak woods, basically, you can see. And um, it's another sails. So yeah. That is really it's cool. very wide. That, that, that's also a fact that makes it bigger. I want to make, I want to make it look as big and heavy as possible. And um, this definitely does. Also at the top, you notice that there's an extra little bit on top of the mast, uh, which is this cell over here. It actually only has three cells. That's what a lot of people do wrong on their ships. Um, it only wears three cells, really. They could have attached the fourth one here. That is really cool. Just imagine this thing with all of its sails unfurled, like going, you know, yeah. it, even with all these sails unfurled, how slow this boat would have would go because yeah, it's very this is strong. a beast. <laughs> all that water having to be displaced, that's goodness. Goodness gracious. But yeah. As um, it comes to um, rigging, I try to make everything as realistic as possible. And let's just put it like this. There is this single... A rigging replication here that doesn't make sense to me though. Yeah. It's incredible. Look at all these ropes and look at the system down here. Oh my goodness. Where'd all these ropes go? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, there's a bunch and, of ropes uh, that go yeah. down into the underneath. Is that is there like stuff down there where they use mm. to yep, crank yep, the system? Yep. That's very interesting. Exa yeah, exactly, exactly. So this is the poop deck here. It's not called poop deck because they poop on here. It's just the the name of it. And we got little chicken coops here, so uh, like little bird coops here. Uh huh. I always oh, thought that the yeah. chicken coop. Whoops, I'm using my motorcycler. I didn't know I was in. I had F1 on. Whoops. Uh, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, Are you destroying everything? My bad, my bad. I got but it. yeah, I, got I it. always thought the poop deck was the actual deck that they pooped on. That would be like the front of the ship, nope. right? Yeah, exactly. We can actually go there right now. Okay. Um, yeah, just follow me. We're that on the main deck. It doesn't make any here. sense to me. Why? Why would they call a poop deck without poop? You don't need <laughs> poop on it. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense yeah, to me at all. Just, so these are 18 pounders, by the way, on top okay. here. This is these are the six uh, the six mortars, and this is the kitchen smoke that comes out of this little pipe here. Oh, it's not these from missile launchers. Chimney. That's the yeah yeah nu nuclear <laughs> missile launchers. And um, if we go down here, if we can. Oh my God, yes we can. And this is the sick berth, and here we come to the cat hat and the bow and the bow spread, and this is where they poop. So how many so, men are on the ship again? Um, <laughs> let me put that in into the picture. These four toilets that you see here are for at least one thousand three hundred men. Can you guys imagine, especially for you ladies? Can you ladies imagine? There are no, yeah, there are, but it's four toilets for one thousand men. That would be absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Especially for us guys, you know, rope. typically as guys we like to take, you know, our time to, you know, do our thing. So I imagine it'd be a little, a little line stretching into the ship sometimes to use these, uh, <laughs> these toilets. And that, the rope, you said they wipe their butt yeah. with a wet rope? <laughs> yes, they do. Really? They just, yeah, it hangs down into the water, they pull it up and they Holy wipe it and then put it back in the water. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, so wow. this is an officer's toilet here. There are two on both sides, like okay. one on both sides. So they got a little extra privacy, I guess. So would there be like a punishment if, say, one of the normal sailors, like, snuck into the oh, officer's absolutely. toilet? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, I guess, yeah. Interesting. There's punishment for everything, right? Yeah. So in here is the sick berth. It's um, it's closed because like people here have um, a dangerous illness that could spread around and whatnot. So they got their own toilets as well for the sick people. So this is like the quarantine zone for yeah, like exactly. the mm -hmm. sick, the ill that might be contagious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very very cool. Yes. 
And you will notice yeah. that there's cannons in every, almost every room on the sides. And that's a yeah. really cool thing is because, <laughs> because, um, you know, even though it's supposed to be like a room where you can kind of walk around and do your thing, you know, to maximize the firepower of this ship, you need to have as many, many cannons as you can. And uh, that's just incredible. I just, I love this. I love having, I love okay. seeing these cannons everywhere. But anyways, holy um, cow, so, what is this yeah, here? Down, no, no, down here is actually the, the kitchen, as you can see, and in here is a little office's room. Okay. Um, nothing really too special, it just goes straight through the front again to the toilets. And uh, this thing here is a capsign. I'll explain that in the next episode when we go to the anchor cables, I think. Okay. Makes more sense. Yeah, uh, I'm very curious yeah. about this. Like, what, what does this, so this all goes to the anchor, right? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it does. Um, okay. There are three of these capsigns on, on board. I'll explain them later. So okay. you can see they got their little tables. The tables swing with the uh, movement of the ship, so nothing falls off the tables. Yeah, that's that's actually a really cool thing. Um, you know, not many people would have thought about that. They would just put like normal tables down yeah. instead yeah, of having to hang. Uh, no. Yeah, that really uh. is an interesting uh, detail there. Also, don't put don't put torches on your ship, man. It doesn't make a, they have oil <laughs> lamps, right? It's, yeah. Don't put open fire on on any ship. <laughs> Technically, the other the new lantern would work a lot better now for this. But There's a rope going through. That's biomes, so we don't want to worry about this. What does this go to? Uh, this is where you said, oh, there's ropes. Oh, there. I got you. So that mast. goes up to the mast up there. Very cool. I keep glitching yeah, out there. Yeah, it's mounted on here. Huh. But yeah, that's really cool. I love that. Yeah. So, what's going on? And um, back here. Oh, we actually missed the the. Yeah, we quarters. missed up above in a way. <laughs> Isn't there stuff yeah. up above too? Yeah, let's go. There. Let's go to the captain quarters and the admiral's quarters. All right. I'm sorry. So this is the steering wheel here. Wow. How many people does it take to turn this thing? Uh, about six. About six. Well, at least four. Yeah. That's crazy. I always thought, you know, the very typical sort of, uh, you know, the movie kind of uh, way to steer a ship is that the captain's standing at the, the back of the ship with his one wheel, and he's the one steering the ship to get to where he wants to go. But in this case, it doesn't look like the captain is actually steering the ship, is he? No, no, no. He's giving the orders, the commands. He's way too busy navigating and planning than actually steering this ship. <laughs> it needs manpower to to turn this wheel. Oh my goodness, I bet that's quite a job trying to turn that wheel. <laughs> yeah, I bet All everything right. on board here is. Huh? Um, Lead so on. we're now getting into the captain's quarters. This is closed officers' places. There are his uh, his first lieutenants and his uh, masters. Uh, his master and everything uh, sleeps here. They sleep here. They all got their little rooms, that mis administration back here. And their own personal and, cannons. Um, not personal cannons, but they got <laughs> cannons inside. Yeah. Uh, this is where the captain sleeps in. Right okay. here. He got a bigger hammock than most others do. Nice also, the hammocks, the, the, the hammocks is where they get buried in after they die. Oh, really? So, yeah, if, if he dies, they put him in, the ca uh, in, the, in his own um, hammock and then throw him overboard. That's a dark thought. Well, yeah, like a, yeah, on sea, yeah. <laughs> that is a really dark thought. Oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah, it is. Make... So this is his own personal space for the, for the captain. This is where he can invite people, officers, even the admiral to, to, to eat, because there is an admiral on board here. It's not usually the case, but it, in this case it is. Okay. And um, he got his own toilets, obviously. All the administration back in the stern, they have their own toilets. They don't need to go out in the cold, in the rain, in the front, and poo poo everyone else. <laughs> okay. And all, they all have their little balconies again. Well, that's very cool. And you have another toilet over here as well. For guests, yeah. Very cool. Okay. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's let's keep moving. Let's go to the, uh, the deck Admiral's below now. quarters. Should be the last thing now. The okay. Admiral's quarters is even bigger, obviously. It's the richest, the most secure, the, the, like, not most secure, but the biggest and richest part for a single person. This is where the Admiral sleeps, yeah. Okay. Right here is where he sleeps? Yeah. Okay. And then we got a giant then, table in here. This looks so cool. Like, this, this is like, 
you're in the way. Um, this <laughs> this looks so like a Renaissance, or not a Renaissance, but a, uh, this looks like a ship. Like, just, I mean, if I was standing in a room like this, automatically I would think I'm in the back, or I'm in a ship right now. You know, there's, there's really no way around it. It looks like a very uh, sturdy, rich looking ship and I love that I love that <laughs> thank you very much uh, so yeah he got his own board. toilets again own gets balcony. red fish mix <laughs> <laughs> is that an inside joke let's just um, our admins names together I guess okay. some of us <laughs> okay so we got some more privies over here very cool the balcony. I like this room uh, you got all these little tools, the sextons and the different yeah, yeah. different thing with your engineering tools. All right, so where else are we moving on to? Uh, they got a little dessert kitchen here and kitchen for the administration. Okay. And the admiral's office. That's the way he walk, uh, works in. And obviously they can push the cannons by uh, to the side when he's working so he doesn't need to step over it all the time. Okay, so they can just kind of move everything out of the way. Yeah. Yes, of course. And these are actually the anchor cables. This is right below the steering wheel. That's so cool. And they go all so the well way down engineered. into the into the rudder. No, not into the rudder, but you'll see the rudder in the next video. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I am yeah. really looking forward to seeing the... What is this? Is this supposed to be obsidian here? Obsidian? I don't know what you're seeing. I'm seeing uh, red. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is this supposed to be red? Oh, I... I see, I see, okay. I was expecting there was something like, oh, never mind. We'll just move on now. How's that sound? <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, yeah, you can look around. I don't know how much time we got. I think it's pretty long already, so let's, yeah. yeah we're at 13 minutes, so we had, we've we been tanking through pretty oh. quick. Man, we're fast, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I like the sick berth up front. We already been through there. Um, I guess we haven't really seen through the officers you said this was the officer's cabin, right? Like their office yeah, yeah, kind of thing? Yeah, it's close. Yeah, yeah. I guess I should get my uh, get a torch on so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Uh, there we go. Q. What am I doing? F1. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Took my torch. There we go. All right. It was either F1 or Q, one of the two. <laughs> All righty. So, yeah, and I, I love the uh, the front of the ship here. Is this Thank actually you. supposed to um, judge wind direction, or is this just kind of like a little decoration? Uh, this is this is more of a gadget decoration that I just put in. Oh, with. okay. But I mean, the, nah, I, I no, no, they had flax for that. <laughs> yeah. So I want to take a good look at the outside, like the bow, the shape. Why don't you like explain to us, like the keel? Uh, this is the keel, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, how about you explain a little bit? of the outside, give us a little idea of how you did this so that maybe others can maybe, um, you know, build their own yeah, boats. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's very uh, difficult to explain, but basically what Roald and I do, we build our ships exactly like they would have built them back then. So we start by the keel. We start with the keel, lay out the keel. We know the length and the width by that point already. Uh -huh. So we lay out the keel and then we start doing the ribs. And uh, once we have, like, the skeleton of the ship, right? And the skeleton is really the hardest part of the entire ship, the, because it is the hull, like, the form of the hull, how it looks. And it's not round, it's not, it's more like oval, it's really hard to do. And it takes time to, to manage to, to get to a point where, where the ship looks like this, because it, all my other ships are worse than this, this hull. <laughs> and it's even so this hull smooth. isn't perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's smooth, but it's not... It's hard to explain because it really gets thinner and uh, slopes back in the, in the end. It's hard to do. Because underneath we, it looks really flat, yeah. and then you go up, and it's like almost like a right yeah. angle, but it's like a really smooth yeah. right yeah. angle. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. It's very fat. You know, it just it has to flow, and this would definitely flow. But um, What are these yeah. here? Is this where they uh, pump water, and then they would purify the water? Or TV, oh, right here. Oh, yeah, you found the pumps. Yeah, this is actually the water pumps. Huh? They would pump the water up, right? Um, or that is where they pump it out. No, this is. Um, see, this is actually. I think now that I see it, this is actually kind of a mistake because I built this when I still thought that in the water tanks they had drinking water, but the 
drinking water is contained down in the hog in barrels. And oh, the okay. pumps only pump out the hog with salt water, so this is actually this actually doesn't really make sense here because they wouldn't oh, okay, pump in okay. salt water. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't realize. No, but good okay. that he found that. I totally forgot about that actually. Yeah, look at the stern, guys. This is act. This has to be the favorite part of the exterior of the ship. Is the stern for me. Yeah, I definitely. love this, yeah. and I'm so excited for the next video because we're gonna be looking actually the inside of the uh, what is it called? The hall, the, yeah, the, the underbelly, and uh, but yeah, the exterior. Look at this. Just look at the detail. Look how beautiful that is. It's so ornate and. So this is more of a colonial period ship, correct? That's 18th century. 18th yeah. century. Okay. The Centesima was built uh, 1740 something, 46. I don't know. Um, it's early design. It's it's younger. It's older than the the uh, HMS Victory, which the interior is based on. Very close. And um, yeah. There's so much detail on every single gun port. You got the little levers. Um, and also the new monster heads, those do really good for the cannon fronts. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and the anchors. <laughs> oh, and for those of you that are wondering, you see these round logs, um, I'm using the better foliage mod, and it, uh, makes it so that logs are round. So, uh, you guys can do that yourselves, and, uh, but yeah, the better foliage mod. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll get to the anchors the next video, but oh my goodness, two anchors? Really? Yeah, four, two per side. Yeah. I just realized that. Wow, it's really yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's always two per side because one goes more to the back and one goes more to the front. I always main, thought it was just two, and I, I uh, maybe one maybe one at the back, but I always thought that it was always going to be no, it was always no, no. one anchor. That's really really. Interesting. <laughs> I can't imagine pulling these things out of the water. Yep. But yeah, I guess we'll get to that to the next video because we said we're gonna. Um, focus on yeah, the anchors yeah. on the next one, but yeah, that is really cool. But yeah, beautiful ship. We got a little deer here for the uh, what's this called? Not like the figurehead. The figurehead, on yeah. The bow. yeah. And then an ode to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's yeah, great. Really well deserved. Well deserved. And what is this here? I'm kind of curious about this. Um, kind this of hangs is, um, down. Yeah, this is for the rigging for the other for the bowsprit and the the. Um, the cells that come down here. Can you imagine? It's, it's for stabilizing because it's see this isn't one giant ass tree that, like one log that goes out. No, it's actually uh, three different logs. Just with the with the main mast, so, like with the mast, there's always uh, three uh, or four in this case because they put another one on. Can you imagine changing the oil of this lamp up here? I'm not I actually mean, sure if there was a it was if there was a lamp, but I mean it's still my own ship, so I've just put. I mean, a lamp can you there. imagine, like, oh my goodness! I mean, if you fall in, you're dead. I mean, you're gonna be run over by a ten billion ton I don't know. ship. It's it's very high. Yeah, this <laughs> That's is high. Cool. Yeah. And then you got the crow's nest up here, right? Where is that? Um, it's yeah. actually, I actually think it's not called that. It's a top. Um. It's just top nest or top. Um, this is for marines and for the yeah, sailors to put, go into the rigging and look for other ships, etc. So that is mainly up here then. This is where the crow's nest is. Yeah, on on every uh, okay. mast. Yeah, they call it top. Well, everyone knows it as the crow's nest, but yeah, there is the official name is just a place or just a place for the marines to come to to say well, land ho. No, it's or it's top or fighting top. It's not it's not a crow's nest. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's very cool. Really, really cool. And I love, like, look at all the rigging, guys. Like, if you guys don't realize how much work it was for, you know, to do all this rigging, holy cow, just look at that. I mean, it's yeah, with and, fence um, gates and fence pieces. You have the little yeah. flags every now and so. You see all those little flags. It's just really cool. Love it to bits. And it still makes sense, and it's it's a it's at a point where I could add more. I mean, there there obviously is way more rigging in the in the original ship. Yeah. But, um, it's at a point where I, I I say, all right, the the is good. It doesn't look too full though. 
I could still see where everything connects, and if I would do more now, I think it would get too much tonight. I like yeah. it at this point, so I, I leave it like this. It would look too spammy if we did it the if you added more, probably. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, one thing that we haven't touched upon is the uh, little rescue boats that you have. Um, looks oh, yeah. like you yeah. have five. It looks like you have four on each side. No, actually, and then you have one in the middle. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, this uh, is it's a four on the sides, and there's another small one in here. So this oh, is that's two. very interesting. You have yeah. okay, so it's two in here. You have one smaller one. You have one big one. Yeah, that's really cool. Is there a reason why this one looks different than the others, or is it just like just a larger boat? I guess this is the the main. Like this is just the biggest uh, like boat or by boat. Okay. And um, yeah. That is really cool. Love it. And this is where they would hang people, right? Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, this is to lift up the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was just being, being yeah. funny there. But yeah, um, very nice. I really love this, and uh, this is an absolutely beautiful creation. Also, a little e detail that nobody really ever builds are these little things here. Uh, these, you see this wooden fence here, the gray ones? Yeah, what are those? Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? What do you guess? I'm guessing ropes to climb up the ship? Uh, no. It's actually for the by boats so that they don't scratch the painting and the gun ports. Oh. It's uh, it's wood. It's massive wood beams that go on the side, like down on the side, and it's so that the boat doesn't scratch the gun ports. So they can just slide the boat right down. That yes, is really exactly. cool. If that happens, yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> you really thought of everything, didn't you? Yep. Yep. Because uh, Roll, you said Roll went to and actually saw the ship and uh, told you all about it? Or you know, went the, to... And uh, that helped our research a lot. Yeah. Wait, you cut out there. The HMS what? Uh, HMS Victory still Victory. exists. Okay. Always commissioned warship. Uh, and um, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, there's nothing like building, you know, if you want to build realistic, you know, nothing like seeing it yourself and uh, seeing how they did this stuff because. There's so many complicated systems in here that, you know, people typically wouldn't really think of. And, you yeah. know, they were pretty smart back then. <laughs> Goodness gracious, they have mechanisms for everything. Yeah. But yeah, um, anyways, thank you for uh, letting us do this part, or letting us do this videos of your ship, because this is definitely a uh, lot of inspiration for a lot of people, I'm sure, and this is going to be great. Great. Oh, Something like you. that. So, um, anyway, any last words you want to say there, Victor? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the first part of the video. In the next part, we'll go down into the deep, dark hole. Down and, um... the depths. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, have a great day. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that Victor Comics has a YouTube channel. Go check that out in the description below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Till then, bye-bye.